Hey, good morning. Well, let's see. Today we're going to take the Goldwing and we're going to modify the stereo system. This isn't my idea, really, actually. This was something I found on the internet uh, by another person. And in the video or someplace, I'll give you guys a link to where I found the information because it was, it was good information. There's many different ways to add a aux channel to the older bikes. I've got a 95. Uh, Goldwing or Aspen Kate or Special Edition or whatever you want to call it. It's a 95 anyway. And uh, she's got 87,000 miles on her. She's been doing great. And I would like to hook up my iPhone to it or my Garmin GPS. Um, and instead of, you know, shoot, going out and buying a cassette player adapter with the cable that would come out from the cassette deck or from putting on a FM modulator, uh, which don't work very well anyway or buying a new motorcycle I decided it this way this one you go into the radio you modify the radio you add a uh, cable into it for the outputs um, I think it will probably take me about an hour to do it I don't think it's a real hard mod I think it's probably the hardest part is just getting the stupid radio off the bike and while it's off I'm gonna do some work on the, the air cleaner too good time for that so, I've got here we go. And I already pulled the uh, cover off with the radio. It's pretty simple. Pull the seat, the four bolts for the seat, two screws here, and uh, unlatch it in here with the gas cap, and it pops off. A little bit of a pain. It's a nuisance to disconnect and get out, but it's not too hard. I've got it sitting over here on a towel so I don't scratch the front of it. Yeah, I've just been sitting here taking out all the screws. I've got, the, got it upside down, taking all the screws out in the four corners so I can get to the uh, motherboard. Well, pulling the cover off is probably going to be the hardest part. Got the screws out, tried to slide her out, and kind of wanted to catch, catch in these two corners, but got me a little wedge to stick underneath there and pop it out. Not much to it. Old stereo. I am a. Uh, Happy to see this as clean on the inside as it is. This thing's been going for many, many years. Okay, well that was pretty darn simple to get the motherboard out. Not much to it. And on this side of it, there's a little half moon cutout. And uh, the power amps that we're tying into the preamps are right there. I'm going to be doing it on the back side here. There's some really good pictures on a website and. I'll put a link to that website because this is actually where I got the idea for this. But I thought it would be kind of fun just to do a video of it because this is not me that figured this one out. I happen to have a cable around. It's just actually just an extension one. It's not used for anything. And I have a Garmin 885 that I use on the bike. And it's the right size for the outlet output on it. And it's the right size for my iPhone. I guess I'm stuck with for a while and um, so this is the size I'm going to use of course if I ever had any something something else I can always adapt up from that um, pretty simple cable the bottom end of it is the ground and then left and right channels and this end of it I'm just going to cut it off strip it back solder it directly to the motherboard put the motherboard back in screw everything together and I'll be done with just one more small thing I like this one because I'm really not doing a whole bunch to this it's a very small mod to it and uh, if I gotta undo it or if I really screw it up and I don't like it or the preamps not enough power I can always undo it it's simple to undo I estimate that by the time I get done, I uh, this will probably have taken me less than an hour. Uh, soldering iron's right over there. It's ready to go. Um, very simple. Anyone can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Okay. Well, that's done. See all three of them soldered in. And I just use hot glue to secure the cable to the bottom of the motherboard. And I'm just going to put her in and let the cable run right along this edge over here. I 
and then I'll tack it down in that corner too. Of course, that will be underneath the board, not on top of it like that. Okay, well, before I put everything together, we're going to do a real quick test run. And I made a blank tape. There's no tape in it. It's just empty. There's the reel down there. And that's to fool the tape player into thinking that it's really playing in a tape when it's really not. So just pop that in there. I've got the Garmin up here running. Uh, Fleetwood Mac. And we'll turn that guy on. And I've got my cable coming out, going to it. And let's see what kind of noise we get. Now that's kind of interesting because that's, that's full bar volume coming off the uh, garment. But let's do this a little bit differently. Look at the sky, look at the tree. Yeah. Okay, let's get out the uh, old iPhone. much out. I don't have that song on here. That's interesting. I'll go ahead and turn it off for now while I change. We'll turn the Garmin off. Plug that into the uh, iPhone. Of course, it instantly muted. It's going to set it down there on the gas tank. It's still playing. Whoa, real loud. Well, this guy doesn't put a lot out. Listen to a real tape. I'll just disconnect this little puppy and put a real tape in. And it works just fine. Okay, well that's the first test. Works great. Doing super. Just gotta remember to plug and unplug, huh? Whenever I do it. song. Nope. Now if I could just get that display up there, huh? Yeah. Oh well. Back to work. Well, the cable is run along the edge of the board here. You can't see it. We need to put up a little bit of uh, hot glue in the corner to hold it in place. Now I'm taking this board apart here so I can run the end out of the unit. I actually did think about just putting a connector here where I could plug it in and out, but I don't know if I want to go that extreme. We could though. I also found that when I worked on the bottom of the board, oh, actually it's over here on this guy, which is a cover. There's four bulbs that go in here. Two of mine are burned out. They're screw in, and then there's two down here, and this guy is burned down. So I've ordered these connectors. I you order one of these, and I have to order all four of those. I'm hoping I can get them. Well, one last video. I got the other pro clip in today. Got it installed. It's got the the lever there to kind of lock it in. 
Looks good. Sturdy. It's not budging anywhere. I went in around my wires. So they're now dressed in and they're running down into the trim on the handlebars. I had to put a tie wrap down here temporarily because mine's cracked. Went by the Honda dealer and ordered a new one. I think that came out real good. Clean installation. Man, it will work for a really long time. It'll look good.